Okay, so hello learners, thank you for your love and support and this time we have decided to improve our content by introducing three new plans. So statistically it is shown that only 27% of the total registered students clear the qualifier, but 52% of our enrolled students clear the paper with flying colors after joining this program. So one may ask like what are the perks one will get after joining the program? One will get access to classes from expert faculties, live doubt classes to resolve all your doubts and detailed conceptual solution of all graded assignments, PVZ papers, mock tests and all materials that required to confirm your selection in qualifier and continue your journey in IT Madras, we are all gonna provide it. And you will also be added to member exclusive WhatsApp and Telegram group for instant reply and doubt resolution. And you know what? All this for just Rs 599 which is just one time investment for a month. So, what are you waiting for? Grab the opportunity to call yourself an IICN. So, we also have other plans like for 119 we will provide detailed solution of all graded assignment for your qualifier as eligibility to appear for qualifier exam depends on your marks in the graded assignment. One will also be added to member exclusive WhatsApp and Telegram group for instant reply and doubt resolution for just 119 rupees which is all it takes to confirm your hall ticket for the qualifier exam. And lastly, we are there to help you after your qualifier selection by providing detailed conceptual solution of all graded assignment, previous year papers, interim quiz, revision sessions, and everything, all the materials that are required for you to have a very good grade in your IT journey, and all the doubts will be cleared using the exclusive member-only WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Thank you for your love and support, and for more details, you can visit our website. Thank you. Greetings everybody. Welcome to the computational thinking uh, graded assignment week 1. So let us start the computational thinking graded assignment now. Here is the first question. See uh, we are asked uh, we are asked to find out that what will the values of A, B and C be after the execution of following procedure using scores data set. So here they are given scores data set and we need to consider it and always note down the important point guys initialize variables uh, all a b and c to zeros this is equally important as well so we are noted it down and now coming to the next point if pile 1 is empty stop the iteration step 4 read the top card in pile 1 and step 5 if total greater than 250 then we need to increment a by 1 this is done and now coming to the another point if 200 uh, to 250 then we need to increment b if it is less than 200 then increment c these are the conditions uh, that are very much required to get a better result of this so now what we need to do is we just need to access the data set provided by IT address from your dashboard here in order to get the right answer and now as it is a time taking procedure we have already computed the answer and now we will be disclosing the answers here the value of A is 6 and the value of B is 15 and the value of C is 8 always but here out of this complete 8 steps procedure one thing that you that you need to make note is that you should skip the cards having 250 this should be skipped because it is greater than 250 and it is up to 250 see here it's not equal to here also there is no equal to so any any marks that are is equal to 250 should not be considered you need not consider them in this way the value of a will be 6 value of b will be 15 and value of c will be 8 with this we are done with the first question <coughs> and now coming to the fourth question the following procedure is executed using the shopping bills data set what will x represent at the end of execution the same is being asked again here A, B and X are zeros. 
if pylon is empty stop the iteration and execute step 7 remember this guys we need to execute step 7 if the pile is empty read the top card in pile 1 if the shop name is sv stores ok if it is sv stores then add total bill amount to a that means a stores the total bill of sv stores and what does b store here and increment b that means b is equal to b plus 1 so here what we are doing is that here b stores the number of occurrences of sv stores that means it will give you b will give you the number of times sv sv stores cards are encountered by the user right so divide a by b and store the result in x this is when the, the this is when we reach the final card of the data set so now what are we being asked we are being asked about what will x represent at the end of execution so here just a second yeah and now x represents what x is equal to a by b so let, let us say that the total bill is 1000 and if the number of cards are 5 then it will be 200 what is this 200 mathematically it is the this is the sum of total bill and this is the number of bills this in mathematics is said to be the average or the mean therefore the average of total bill amount from sv stores will be the right answer and now coming to the fifth question in the fifth question they are asking us to find out the mistakes with respect to sanity of data here we need to return the user that how many rows are without errors here there are only four lines of code so we will have to find the number of rows which are without mistakes according to the question asked now let's straight away jump into the answer so if you check the options here there are two options called 5 and 6 which are not even appropriate towards the question which is asked because it has only four lines therefore 5 and 6 these two options are impossible to be uh, to be considered as cor correct answer and now coming to the a and c options eyes of these will be correct according to the answers i mean according to the logic given to us now let us break this down into further simple steps if minimum is greater than average if this is satisfied then we return a true this is what the meaning of the first two lines is this line individually if we check individual lines so if minimum amount is greater than average this carries some sense right therefore line 1 is free of errors and if this condition is satisfied that is if this is satisfied the user will be sent true as the output so this is also perfect and line number 3 is j it, it just consists a symbol that's it and this symbol represents the uh, end of if loop if iteration so 1 2 3 lines are perfect in case if uh, this condition is not satisfied that is if minimum amount is less than average amount then we return a false remember here we do not return both true and false at a time but if we return a true then we do not return false if we return false then we do not return true therefore all the four lines are without errors and the correct option is a